Next, ladies and gentlemen, is a gentleman who brings a view from the other part of the world. He is the Honorable Minister for Agriculture and Forestry, Alberta. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable O'Neill Carlier. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for that kind introduction. I'm delighted to be back in India and I'm deeply honoured to have this opportunity to speak to you here today. I'm pleased to be here along with several Alberta Pulse companies, including La Vida Commodities, Providence Grain, South Peace Grain and Alberta Pulse Growers. These are some amazing companies that are eager to develop business opportunities with you. Representatives from Alberta have been fortunate to receive your hospitality on many previous visits to your beautiful country. And I'm pleased to represent Alberta's 40,000 farmers who have made it their lives work to produce the high quality food. On their behalf, I appreciate this opportunity to continue discussions about strengthening our trade ties with your nation. Alberta is grateful for our cooperative and mutually beneficial trading relationship with India. Last year, India imported more than $82 million worth of agri-food products from Alberta. And the potential exists for us to provide much more, from commodities like pulses and grains, to expertise in a wide variety of agriculture processes and systems, such as animal genetics, food safety, and aquaponics. With Alberta farms covering more than 200,000 square kilometers, food production in our province far outstrips our domestic needs. As a result, our robust agriculture industry enables us to export food products all around the world. More than 2.4 million hectares of Alberta land produces oil seeds. Chief among those crops is canola, grown in all but 32,000 of those 2.4 million hectares. Our world-renowned canola makes the healthiest vegetable oil around, low in saturated fats, rich in vitamin E, and a great source of omega-3. Given that India is among the world's top three importers of, ed of edible oils, Alberta is ready to help supply your need. We also stand ready to help supply your nation with pulse crops. In fact, we are the world's largest grower and exporter of green peas and yellow peas. And currently, more than 70% of Alberta pulses are destined for the Indian market. Last year, Alberta farmers planted more than 930,000 hectares of pulses, accounting for about 10% of all crops planted. And we are increasing acreage and production of pulse crops. From field peas and chickpeas to lentils, faba beans and dry beans to satisfy the growing demand from world markets. We're also exploring new varieties and adding value to pulse crops. Because like you, we recognize the incredible versatility of pulses as a staple, but also as the foundation of many value-added products. Food processing is another growth industry in Alberta. Innovation continues to diversify our agri-food products. With more than 22 research and innovation facility facilities specializing in crops and cereals, poultry and swine research, agronomy, biomaterials, and food safety. We are continuously exploring how we can improve our production, prioritizing food safety, and creating products to tantalize pallets around the world. I never cease to be amazed by the innovation and quality of the research going in on at these world-class facilities, like our AgriValue Processing Business Incubator at our Food Processing Development Center. This business incubator is a food production commercialization facility that is unique in Canada. Alberta has a wealth of expertise to share when it comes to a variety of agriculture processes, including animal genetics, grain storage, seed, soil, and water management. We can offer expertise in processing technology, as well as biotechnology, energy efficiency, environmental protection, food packaging, and food safety practices. I'm also the Minister for Forestry, and why I would be remiss if I did not talk about Alberta's dynamic forestry sector. Alberta has over 32 million hectares of 
forest that represents 31 million cubic meters of renewable timber. Our sustainable forest management system offers opportunities for wood products such as wood pulp and lumber that would be ideal for the Indian market. With a resilient economy, excellent infrastructure and business-friendly environment, Alberta is an ideal destination for Indian investment. Our agriculture and agri-food sector welcomes international investment. Alberta offers a welcoming business climate. We have a business-friendly regulatory climate and one of the most competitive business tax regimes in Canada. No provincial sales tax, no provincial capital taxes, and no payroll taxes. Canada and Alberta also have very generous tax incentives to conduct research and development. These incentives are just part of the reason that Alberta has become a world leader in innovative agri-food research and development. Another is that we have abundant, high-quality agriculture raw materials at competitive costs that I've already shared with you. Certainly another incentive to potential investment is that Alberta offers investors easy access to world markets. We are well connected by road, air, rail, and pipeline infrastructure. And we offer excellent access to and from Pacific ports. In fact, we are a distribution hub in Western Canada. In addition to all of these opportunities, we've also made it easy for potential partners to inquire about investing in Alberta. The Alberta India office is the first point of contact for foreign companies considering an investment in Alberta's agri-processing sector. They can answer your questions about establishing a business in Alberta and provide guidance about taxes, employment, regulations, and business matchmaking services. They can provide appropriate referrals and contacts, sector-specific market intelligence, and site selection support that investors need to set up exploratory visits. They can also provide assistance and advice on doing business in Alberta and address your questions about immigration, taxes, laws, and regulations. The bottom line is this. Our goal is to succeed in helping you succeed. Alberta already enjoys a strong trade relationship with India. It is a relationship my team and I are here to make even stronger for everyone's benefit. Trade is a two-way street. We are committed to enhancing the exchange of agricultural commodities, value-added products, and services between Alberta and India. This is a subject that embraces a diverse range of issues from technology to marketing to policy making. While it may take time to find two things in each area, to maximize the prosperity the trade generates, we are committed to investing that time and energy. And we're committed to strengthening the trade relationships that we share with India. Alberta shares India's priority for high quality, healthy, and safe food. We share your high standards and we can meet them. My team and I look forward to our discussions on how Alberta farmers and food products producers can serve you. And I thank you again for your generous hospitality, your warm welcome, and the gift of time and friendship. Thank you. That was the Honourable Minister for Agriculture and Forestry, Alberta, Canada. Thank you, Mr. Carlier, for your presence here, for sharing the business opportunities with Alberta and, of course, the vision of your government. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you all to please give a big round of applause to our remnant dignitaries from across the world who came here to interact with business and to show us the opportunities that we have. We'd like to make it special for them, a little memento. I'd like to request the Vice Chairman, Ipka, Mr. Bimal Kothari, and, of course, the Honorary Secretary, to please present mementos. We'll start off with the one to the governor of Kitui County, Kenya, the Honorable Charity Ingidu. Wonderful. Up next, the Honorable Minister from Alberta, Canada, Mr. O'Neill Kalia. And 
of course, the big man of the pulses trade, to the president of the Global Pulse Confederation, Mr. Hussein Aslan. Give us a memento photograph. Uh, can we have a memento photograph? It's everybody right in front. Yes, uh, Mr. Aslan. This, this goes into our publication and uh, makes it very special. Come, ma'am, if you could join us. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very eminent panel. The Governor Kitui County, Kenya, the Honorable Charity Ngilu, the Honorable Minister for Agriculture and Forestry, Alberta, Canada. The O'Neill Hatia, Carlier, and of course.